Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another one-to-one -one scale prop replica review. Now today we're going to be taking a look at none other than the one-to-one -one scale wearable fully animatronic Mark V Iron Man helmet by Auto King. Now I do want to say a huge thank you to Auto King for sending me out this production sample to review, but that doesn't mean I won't be giving you my full and honest opinions, so definitely bear that in mind. Also bear in mind that this is third party and unlicensed, so so that means Auto King doesn't hold the intellectual property rights to brand this as an Iron Man helmet, which of course we all know that it is. Now if you are looking to pick this up, it is available from ToysWonderland.com, I have popped the link in the description below just for your reference purposes only, and also don't forget they have 12 month installment plans now available. Enough of that, let's talk about the helmet itself, and as you can see, it's super shiny, it's a nice chrome finish on the front there, but it doesn't just have a straight up chrome effect, there's also a brush finish over the entire faceplate, and it looks darn fantastic. So too does the super vibrant cherry red all over the entire back section. There is also some really nice black panel lining. This thing is a feast for the eyes, it looks absolutely fantastic. Now, we're not just here to talk about the finish, let's take a look at some of the animatronic features. So of course there is a switch underneath, if you flick it, it does sort of move around and get itself into position. Now there are a couple of ways in which you can interact with this piece. You can either use this right here, which is a remote, which we'll set to the side for just a moment, or you can interact with the helmet directly by touching the side panel. So if we touch the side right here, you can see it opens up in spectacular fashion. All of the little bits and pieces do move out of the way. And yes, there are sound effects. They are quite loud. You can turn them off if you'd rather, which I'll show you how to do in just a second. But with that open, you can see on the inside, it's quite cavernous and it's also very nicely padded. Now, of course, to close it, you hit the side in the exact same fashion and the eyes do come on. Now, if you do hit the other side, you do have it opening up like a traditional Iron Man faceplate, and same thing once again, if you do close it, just touch that side there and it will bring the faceplate down. Now of course to use the remote you do have to turn it on, and you can see there are a number of buttons. E right here, that one will turn off the sound effect, so we may as well do that, and when we click A, it'll just open it as usual, and clicking A again, bringing it back down. You can see the sound of the servos a little bit more whiny than the sort of artificial sound effects that it can have, but I do prefer them because it sounds a little bit more authentic. Now of course, clicking B, you can see that it does the proper animatronic opening and indeed closing as well, which is my personal preference. And then clicking on C, you can see the eyes do change to a red color. Not exactly sure why, but still it's pretty badass having some red eyes on your Iron Man helmet. It looks fantastic. Fantastic. Of course, clicking it again will change it back to white. Now finally, D will turn the lights off entirely, and E will simply turn off and on the sound effects. So if we click B again, you can see that it opens again with the animatronics and the full sound effects. But I have to say, out of all of the one-to-one -one prop replica helmets that I've had, just those features alone are absolutely fantastic. They blow my mind. I didn't even know that was possible to create in terms of the animatronic opening. It's insane. I really can't put words to how awesome it is to see that piece open up in person in front of me right here. And as you can see, doing it once again, all those little pieces do move independently and perfectly timed at that. I, I literally cannot. It looks so darn awesome, but that's not the biggest party piece of this right here. It actually has voice activation. So if you say the right keywords, which of course it does come with an instruction manual to tell you what they are, but if you say Jarvis, start system. As you can see, they've kind of ripped voice lines straight out of the movie, but the voice activation is incredibly awesome, but that's not all it can do. If you say, open the mask. Look at that! It opens, no remote, no buttons required, that is freaking fantastic. You can also, of course, say, close the mask. And it closes up very nicely. There are only a couple more things that it can do, but you can say, start combat mode. And the eyes, of course, will change to red, or you can say, close combat mode. Bit weird in terms of the wording, but nevertheless it does work. And the final one is, of course, shut down system. Enjoy yourself, sir. 
I really, honestly, do like that feature. I know it's a little bit goofy and it's a little bit funny and the wording is a little bit off. Also, the sound of Jarvis's voice is a little bit tinny, but still, it's a really awesome effect, so that makes technically three ways to interact with the helmet. And I have to say, this has to be one of my favorite one-to-one -one prop replica helmets. I've got the Mark 46, the Mark 85, of course, the Battle Damage Mark 50, and now this piece right here, it is hands down my favorite. Now, as I said, Auto King did send this to me as a review sample, but honestly, I don't think that really changes anything at all. I still love it, the features are fantastic, the finish is amazing, and of course, the fact that it has all of those animatronics blows my mind. If you do want to pick it up, it is in stock with ToysWonderland.com, Link for that is down in the description below, just for your reference purposes only. This is a third-party unlicensed product. That means the company that produced this, being of course Auto King, doesn't hold the intellectual property rights to brand this as Iron Man. Now, of course, while you are down in the description, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.